Hello everybody, this is the C1, this is the finished build um, of the C1 Sunny um, that I did using um, the C1 um, Trans Kit. Um, this kit came with the full front end, a hood, a grill, a front bumper, um, a lower valance, these rear flares. Um, it came with all the lights that you would need it for the front. It came with a set of seats and a dash that, and steering wheel and column that would bend out of the skyline, which shares this front end. Um, here's a another picture, um, and it shows, you know, that it came with this hood. Um, I didn't do the hood latches. Um, I smoothed the hood out. I didn't do um, the black flares. They're painted the color of the body. Um, I didn't do the mounted on fender mirrors. I moved the, the mirrors back and um, um, I didn't run a front bumper. Um, what? Here's the finished truck. I went with the Lamborghini Gallardo um, yellow. Um, the wheels are Aeroshima Techno Phantoms. Um, and then I highlighted um, the spokes if we can't. The spokes are highlighted gold. Um, it's got Pegasus disc brakes all the way around it. Um, I smoothed off the front of the hood um, where, let me see, close this in. I smoothed off the front of the hood, um, like I said, where the latches should have been. I filled in um, the holes where the mirrors were supposed to set on the fenders. Um, took out the marker lights that were supposed to be in the side. Um, when this kit came out, it had, um, I, uh, the grill was molded in, so I, um, cut all that out, put a photo etch grill in there. I redesigned, um, I redesigned all, all this lower part here. Um, it had bumper brackets, um, this lower valance, um, came down and around up into, um, the flare, but I re-sanded all that. Um, I made a spray the splitter in the front end um, like that um, Molotov chrome the grill over here you could see I switched the bulky antenna from the kit into a wire um, to a straight pin wire moved the mirror back on the door um, like an American style car um, coming around to the bed um, I took, it had slats back here, All it has three slats in the back window. Um, I took those out and um, made it a smooth uh, flush window, um, scaledworld.net, window tag in it, a Mr. Mini Dreams plate. Um, I sanded off rubbers that were supposed to be right here and rubbers underneath there. Um, and then basically, you know, hand painted the tail lights black trim with the sharpies for um, the blinker and all that. Um, the interior, I'll have still pictures put up of the interior here in a little bit um, up on Facebook. Um, right here, I got to get find the on off switch. Um, the motor in it, the hood is hinged. Um, the hood is hinged. Um, the motor is a, a copied resin motor out of a GTR 10 um, thanks to Vision 124 um, then I put a bunch of uh, watch parts in it I made all I made all the shock towers I lowered the shock towers it's got all the shock towers in there um, watch part for bolt um, for bolt detail added a master cylinder built all the firewall the core support um, intercooler right here for the transmission it's got all the lines in it and everything so if you guys can't see that it'll have the the, the lines going into it um a spun aluminum overflow bottle um got all the throttle linkage for uh, both throttle bodies it's got the coil packs on it um it's got a fuel regulator right there um i do have a, a recessed battery down in there um the dipstick right here the dipstick braided hose um, it's got camber shaft detail right there would be your oil filler um, but there's your oil filler Let's see it's got a wiper motor um, right there but it's faded in black 
Thank you, son. Um, yeah, I fought with the I fought with the looks of um, the accent on the black. I didn't know if I liked it or not. Um, a lot of people are commenting that they liked it. Um, get this down here further for you guys. Um, this is a build that I did um, for ScaledWorld.net. Um, you guys can. You know, go over there. There'll be builds up soon of the whole build. Um, chassis is done and weathered. Um, custom exhaust. Um, I made it look like, you know, it was a street-driven truck. And, um, you know, the chassis is, is weathered and dirtied up. Um, well, kind of took longer than I wanted to, but I got other ambitions on my mind. Um, other projects and different things were grabbing my attention. And I'm the type of builder that I have to be feeling it um, to complete it or I'll rush it and it won't look look very good. Um, this is what I ended up with. Um, you guys can uh, follow ScaledWorld.net over on Facebook. Um, they got a YouTube channel. Um, there's Facebook channels. Um, I should say Facebook page. Um, you got the Instagram, Google Plus, Twitter um, to go over there and check out Scaled World. Don't forget, you guys can um, submit your own um, your own builds there too. Um, so, like I said, I made the photo etch grill using another grill piece that I had for a Mercedes. Uh, it was long enough and wide enough that I can use it to make that grill. Um, it's got the Scaled World uh, window decal in there, and like I said, the Mr. Mini Dreams plate. Um, I went ahead and took a little, uh, took the Molotov, and I highlighted uh, the vents just a little bit because um, there was a chrome grill, the chrome wheels. So I highlighted just these little side vents just to get, uh, you know, a break from all the black and yellow. Um, and you guys know me, I like to hinge my hood so that way they're functional instead of just sitting there. Um, that's just my preference. And like I said, the wheels, if I had to do this over again, um, I would, I kind of like the front wheels more than I like the back wheels. Um, but I, now that I have a, a, a whole set of 10 on hand, uh, I'll be able to sand down and, and trim them down to fit the, uh, my, my most likings. Um. I really appreciate you guys following this um, as I did the build. Um, and like I said, we used the C1. Um, we used the C1 trans kit right here with the Hazagawa um, with the Hazagawa HC20 kit, which is a Nissan Sunny truck on the 1979 long bed deluxe kit. Um, and with the C1 kit, guys, like if you watch all the videos, it comes with the full front clip, a front bumper, a valance, the grill, all the lights, um, the hood, and then these two rear flares, um, two front seats, a dash, a steering column, and a steering wheel. Um, the C1 um, is back in stock um, with this kit here, um, but the truck kit itself is kind of getting a little... Um, overpriced right now i don't know if the market has run flat on them and they're skyrocketing but you um u.s guys um you know how it is when um rumors rumor mills go around that you know something's been either damaged or they're redesigning something you know how people over here start skyrocketing and stuff so um what was what was once a 35 dollar 40 dollar truck is now around 60 bucks um they have a version older than this and a version newer than this um, but basically all the same just changing a little bit of the different grills and different decals um really thankful to scale world for giving me the opportunity to build this for them um, Chris Hales at C1 for offering such a great, very easy kit to use. Um, George Ramos from Vision 124 um, for helping me with um, some designs, um, helping me with uh, uh, the motor, and you know, just um, a, gr a great support when you know you're sitting here hitting a roadblock. Um, George is 
telephone was busy as hell. I would call on him. What do you think about this, bro? Um, sharing pictures back and forth, you know, um, spreading ideas. Um, so he was a big supporter, um, motivator, more more or less than anything, to get the to get back onto this and and keep me motivated. He will have one coming out soon, which I am lucky enough I'll be able to repay him. I got some parts to send to him um, for his build. Um, like I said, the yellow is, I don't have a paint code. I was told it was the yellow from, um, a 2005, um, Lamborghini Gallardo. So that's what I'm telling you guys it is. It is a very bright yellow. Um, wasn't feeling the black at since at first. And then, um, all of that started to come ahead and it started popping and, and I just stayed with it. Um, I didn't want nothing too drastic. I didn't like the way a lot of the cars are running the black flares. Um, I wanted them yellow. Um, you know, just give it my own look. And um, um, it would be a Hakasuka truck. Jay, so it's not a low rider and it's not a mini. Um, the style they call this guys in Japan is a uh, as a Hakasuka, and basically they put the wide body on them, the really wide wheels on them. Um, some of them they try to camber out. You know, this is some of the cars, more the cars with the independent rear suspension. You really can't camber a straight axle car. Uh, then they got a, a bazooka, a bazooka ton or something like that, and they have some crazy exhaust and stuff go up there. Um, <laughs> um, just some, you know, that's what they would call it. To me, Jay, this right here would be a um, a mini truck. Is where I would put it. Wouldn't be a low rider. That's my that's my um, opinion though. Um, so we'll get the hood shut and we'll let you guys um, get a look at it coming around with the hood shut. And then you can see um, when the tailgate, when you guys come back around, I painted the jams of the tailgate. If you can see on the when the back of the tailgate, I highlighted all the jams right there to make, you know, instead of just highlighting the outside of the tailgate. Um, so I got the inside done. If I wasn't going to go yellow with this one, um, the yellow was suggested by a, a, a close friend of mine I work with um, at work. He actually owns um, a 2010 or 2012. I can't remember, John. Um, John's Dodge is either 2012 or 2010. Um, Dodge Ram, and it's the bright yellow, and he made the comment... Um, since it's a sunny, it should be a yellow. Um, in my mind, I was thinking a baby blue, but the more I started thinking about John's comment, and um, I went with yellow. Looking over the internet, I didn't see too many yellows at all, um, even in the real cars. Um, there's a lot of pales, um, like a pale blue, a pale green. Um, there's the pale tan, you know, colors right there. Um, Steve Hemming from Hyro Boy, he actually has a real white one. Um, and he is going to do this real trans over, uh, trans over kit um, from Japan. Um, he's already got all the parts. He's just um, waiting to get it into the shop. Um, so he's actually building the real truck. Um, you guys can Google this. Um, it is a great kit. It's a great kit to build. Um, it's a very easy kit to use. Chris Hills at C1 did a did an awesome job. Um, I changed stuff up. It's not because they were damaged from C1. It's just I wanted to put my own um, my own flavor into it because um, his Valance would actually go um, from fender to fender, and it's pretty, you know. Um, it actually went long and then would mat up, match up to the flares over here on the side. But I sanded all that down and molded it in um, and made the divot in there myself. I just wanted something else to make it my own. But it's a great kit. It's an affordable build. 
um, once the price of the trucks come back down. Um, if you was to build this kit today with the C1, um, with the C1 kit and um, this kit and the wheels, um, not to mention the paint, you know, I put into it. Um, probably got 180 bucks into this build the way it sets right now. Um, but I paid a, a decent amount of money for um, the yellow paint because they say it's Lamborghini, you know. Um, so sometimes it's it's not cheap. I use raw automotive paint, guys. Um, this is what I got. Um, this is, you know, I got a pint of it was almost um, 50 bucks. So it was like 44 50 or something like that, you know, with tax and everything. Um, I can tell you when I mixed it up, they used a red, but I don't see no red tint out of this at all. And when I seen the red going in when they was mixing it up, I, I was for sure it was going to be um, the orangish color. But man, once I hit it with clear coat, um, the yellow popped really big. Um, I made what a lot of the Mustang guys, a lot of you, the guys that collect um, 64, 5, 6 Mustangs, um, they have cover vents over the window cowl vents because it would leak water and rust. So I made the vent deletes up here, but you can see the two screw holes um, that I added in there because I want it to look like they were added on covers instead of a smooth, um, smooth window cowl. Um, Let me see something, guys. I'll be right back. And like I said, I don't know if uh, Pete had seen it or not. Um, Pete, we, we have the chassis is all weathered. Um, like it was a street driven truck. Um, custom exhaust. Um, I shot over a gray primer. Yeah, John, thank you for your yellow suggestion. I was telling the guys about your truck. I couldn't remember. What year is your truck, John? I'm just thinking it's either 2010 or 12. I couldn't remember. Oh, it's a 09. Guys, it is a big yellow and it's a great looking truck, John. I'm going to do something real quick. Let's do this. Alright, so if you guys go to C1. Let's go right here. No, it's not gay no more. Once I used the yellow color, I realized it's not gay. So you're lucky on that one, John. That is not the same yellow as the RX-2. This yellow here is more of a of a um, older school yellow. They weren't that bright back in the 70s. So if you guys go here to C1, I'm gonna move my lamp for a minute. You guys go to C1. You guys will go to resin kits. I didn't hit the Cadillac Corvette. That is a good looking kit though. Now you'll go to C1. And then it will list up all their kits. 
then if it's in stock it says in stock and if it's not in stock it will say sold out or um, getting ready for um, like this one here it says sold out we don't know if we're going to get this one back yet um, but then you got other ones that are I like this green I almost wanted to go with that green and then like here it says schedule for retooling you know depend upon what Oh yeah, I guess I do have my reflection in there, don't I? <laughs> um, we got this build we're going to be doing soon. And then we got this build we're going to be doing soon. Um, nice Firebird Resto mod. We don't have that one yet. Um, the Chevelle is sold out. Um, another Porsche, another Porsche. We have this Honda Civic um, right here kit that we're going to do. And then right here is the Hakataka truck. So if it's $30, um, it's $30 Euro, we have to do, um, you have to mark up. So their dollar, uh, our dollar is a little, uh, little less than theirs. So we have to add more. So it's almost 40 bucks. It's almost $40 for this kit. And as you can see in the kit, you get the full front clip, the front bumper, the lower valance, the dash focus. You'll get the dash and then the two seats. Um, but it is back in stock right now. Um, the kit you guys need. Let's go. We'll go to eBay just because it's common. Um, I don't even see my eBay store now. Let's just get it. Go to eBay. Hit yes. Hit yes. And then we'll just go right up here and search. Then we'll look in here. And then right now you can see right there's the cheapest I've seen it for a while, guys. At 3505. And that's the exact same kit I used. And here's the older one at 4349. And then 42 for the for the older uh for the newest one. And basically your your difference is, is some of the grill stuff. Um so the truck is up there. So right now, you know, you're looking at um, about 80 bucks to get the kit and the trans kit shipped to your door, you know, maybe, and then the parts and stuff that you put into it. So, um, um, it's, it won't see, they've been going for around 52 to 60 bucks, depending upon who the seller is. Um, so seeing it for 32 buy it now, um, is a pretty decent price. Here's 22, um, but from Japan, so you got to understand, you know, you got to wait two to three weeks. Um, see, here's another one, 45, 45, 56. Um, so the prices are all over. Um, if you want to do this kit, don't overpay. Um, look around, you see how it's fluctuating all over the place. Um, so make a good buy decision um, because this kit right here, um, it's worth it, guys. Love that little sunny truck. Um, I have another one on hand already to build. Um, so, and like I said, we're going to build, we'll build the C1 um, 69 Mustang. Um, we'll build the 69 C1 Mustang kit, and then from that, um, we'll have a, 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 we'll raffle it off. Um We'll raffle this kit off once it's built because we have this. We'll have this with um, the Mustang kit. The Mustang kit still ain't even open. Um, 
where we'll have that to build. Um, and then once that kit is built and we raffle that kit off, um, we'll go back to C1. Um, we're going to look at a few things. I have I have the Ravel Audi here. Um, but we're going to see what other kits we might be able to um, come together. Because we would like to buy a a C1, um, we would like to buy a C1 trans kit and have and raffle it off so you guys have the opportunity um, to build some of the stuff that Chris Hales um, is supplying um, the model building community. Um, if you've never been to C1, go to c1models.com. Um, they have some um, metallic powders, there's all kinds of really nice kits. There's um, some decals over there. Um, the website's just full of different stuff. Go over there and check out Chris. Um, check out C1 Models. Maybe you see something that interests you. And um, you guys can leave us feedback on um, what kit you think we should supply and what body kit um, do you think would be um, good for the community to, to build on. So right here, we'll, we'll let it um, spin around. Um, few more times that you guys check that out I appreciate all you guys that followed me um, as I did this whole build as I did this whole build um, don't forget scaled world oh crap about flipped it over uh, don't forget scaledworld.net go over there and check out all the awesome builds um, you can enter your own build uh, Pete put up a link today on the Scale World Facebook page, on the Mr. Mini Greens page. You can also find Scaled World at YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. Um, so there's a lot of different outlets you guys can share. And um, this is just a bad dude, man. Bad dude. I'm going to get the hood open for you guys one last trip. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, David, um, you can go to scaledworld.net and you can see the kit built, um, Pete. Yeah, Pete built that one himself, and it is a great looking kit. Uh, the Mustang, the Mustang kind of follows the same. Um, this Mustang kind of follows the same, um, the same group that the uh, that the Camaro was pulled out in. Now, as of right now, Chris has stated that um, Chris has stated that the Charger, um, the C1 Charger wide body stuff is unavailable right now um so you guys won't be able to purchase that just yet but we'll be building that set um for scaled world here um in the in the next few weeks thank you mr david oh that's timothy i'm sorry timothy So guys, uh, appreciate you guys following me. Um, thanks for all the nice comments, um, the nice encouragement. Um, hope you guys get a chance. <laughs> I said I'd be building it in a few weeks. I didn't say it'd be finished in a few weeks, Bill. <laughs> So here in a week or two, um, when George gets back from a, a business trip, um, this will be boxed up and sent to George um, Ramos uh, Vision 124 and um, discussing with Scaled World today with the little um, conversation we had over the telephone. Um, you guys will be able to see that in Atlanta, guys. This right here may be taking a trip to Atlanta. Um, if George's time frame um, fits in with the show. Um, so George went last year. He took a few builds um, for us last year for Scaled World. Um, for Diversified. And um, he had a great time and really enjoyed it. Yeah, or... or um, Pete, you can put them up on um, the Mr. Mini Greens page. I know David um, checks that page out. Um, 
But yeah, when with Chris's kits, David, um, they're they're really easy to use. Um, very little cleanup. Just take your time. Um, the best thing to remember, guys, when working with resin is I um I always wash mine um two or three times. Get a toothbrush. Get some Dawn dish soap. Um, scrub and scrub, rinse, scrub and scrub, rinse, scrub and scrub and rinse. Um, cause the, you know, you gotta get that release agent off. You gotta make sure it's super clean. Um, use a real good contact primer. Um, don't use no cheap stuff. No, you know, uh, what is it? Home color from Walmart or whatever it's called. Um, you don't want to use a cheap primer. You want a real nice, um, sandable primer. And, um, the resin is great. It changes the kit's, um, limitations drastically. Um, a lot of people are afraid of resin because, of uh, some guys don't cast them right and you get lots of air bubbles or you get really thin pieces. Um, with C1, you're getting top-notch stuff, guys. So far, I have yet to have any, um, ill complaints, um, dealing with the C1 stuff. Um, Pete and I have built stuff from 81, um, um, from Factory 81, um, from, um, Zoom On, um, you name it, we've had our hands on a lot of different resin stuff, and C1 for, uh, Chris Hales out of, um, the UK, you can't, um, you can't second guess his stuff, um, it's great, uh, it works great, and, um, you guys will not be disappointed. So, with that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, yeah, there are some resins that are super, super thick. And, um, so you guys, thanks for following me on this one, and, and thanks for, this right here was my first, um, you know, I tried to, try to do every build, every part of the build online, um, but it didn't finish that way, but I got to do a majority of it, um, online, and I thank you guys that all jumped in and followed me an hour here, hour there, some days we get two hours in, um, I know I got off base a lot of times. Um, I'm really excited about this hobby. This hobby is a big passion um, for me. So sometimes I get sidetracked. And with me and Pete at Scaled World, um, we want to bring this excitement back into your guys' homes too, back onto your bench. And so I'm always eager to answer questions, um, show you what I was working with, and... and you know, what I might have planned, and my opinions on some other stuff, and, um, we got sidetracked a few days, um, when we went live, but the purpose for scaledworld.net is for you guys to have a place, um, instead of wishing that somebody, um, shared within your hobby or whatnot, it's like an online magazine, guys, um, you, you, you could send your own stuff in. You get your own publication. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about if you're going to miss an issue. Um, you know what I mean? And then some some places are selective. You know, um, they pick up a guy because of his name. You know, oh, I've seen you through the NNL, through the GSL, and all this stuff. And sometimes the name. Um, the name gets your place, not really your build, if you guys know what I'm saying. Um, but at Scaled World, um, it's publishable for the items that you send in. If you don't send it in, you won't be able to be published. So you have to, um, like I was telling Pete today on the telephone, you have to be, uh, you have to be satisfied with your place in the hobby. Um, we all are at different levels. We are at different stages. But be proud of what you're doing. Enjoy what you're doing. And share what you're doing. Um, because you will not understand once you get out of your... Like if your circle is just this big. And you think, you know what, I'm going to share it this big. And then they see one build. And then you get some encouragement. And then they start seeing half your desk. And then they see all your desk. And then before you know it, um, you're on everybody's nerves like I am. You know, you're all over the place. Um, but this hobby won't be as fun if you don't include yourself.
Yeah, nice comment, um, Pete. Yeah, like I said, it's there for you guys. Um, if you guys notice, I have some of my own builds up there. Um, John John from Gap Hill Speed Shop will have some builds up there. Um, George Ramos from Vision 124, he'll be up there. Um, you got Nicholas Sendone from the Jersey area with his builds up there. Um, it's just full of great builders, full of great names. And, you know, you got... Um, like young model master his stuff is up there and it's a you know young 16 year old kid um that is doing some great builds you know um like i said i drifted away a little bit during this but i support i thank you guys for your support and and stayed with me um we thank you for what you guys do and for what you guys do contribute um to scaledworld.net um Hopefully, um, we get some more building in this year. Um, and it is already October. Um, I need to focus on getting a build done for Vision 124. Um, and then there's a lot of stuff going on in the YouTube community. So, um, I'll reach out to you guys. Um, don't, don't be shy. Um, put your work out there so we can enjoy it. And, um... You guys know my trademark is my desk. Um, a lot of the stuff that I show is on my desk. Um, that's my trademark. You guys know if anybody ever tries to uh, tries to steal a build and say, hey, this is my build. You guys will know you'll always see either scaledworld.net logo in my videos <laughs> or on my desk. And the same with my Mr. Mini Dreams logo. Um... But when you guys send your pictures in to Scale World, try to be clean, try to be bright, and try to be clear. Um, and don't worry too much about expressing the details. Um, just try to get a nice overall picture. And because sometimes the closer up you get, um, the more faded your stuff gets. Um, and try to send your best pictures. Don't flood um, the email with 30 pictures and only three of them usable um, so that's why Pete says there's only um, a few restrictions um, if we can't visually see what we're looking at and the clutteredness so try to um, try to keep your um, finished pictures um, at least desirable to look at um now there is some there is some sections um coming it would be like um build in progress and you know then um that's a different set of pictures um there is a chat room on scaledworld.net it's not used very much right now um it's kind of a new feature that we put in a few months ago it's hit or miss um when you get in there thanks thanks trevor um, so sometimes, you know, there be somebody there, there ain't somebody there. It just depends upon, um, like I know my schedule is a lot different than Pete's schedule, but then like mine and John Poles is kind of on the same. Me and John both work nights. Um, so sometimes we're on there together. Um, Gap Hill Speed Shop has started another job, um, a new job. He had to relocate, so his time changed and stuff. Um, but... And there is a chat group over there. Um, so every now and then just, you know, maybe post up a topic and see where that leads. You can always go back um, to that section and see what the topic was and, and leave your comment. Um, again, we appreciate everything you guys do um, within the supporting realms of Mr. Many Dreams. Um, between following my build, supporting the raffle, supporting what you do. Um, by entering your stuff over there at scaledworld.net. Um, we really appreciate it. We got a lot more coming for you guys personally um, soon. Um, you know, we're just this time of year. Um, a lot of bad weather has put in um, a bind in a lot of families across um, this hobby. And then, you know, I'm, you know, you can't plan for I got some of my own personal issues going on. Um, but we'll, we'll get everything set up. We'll get everything together. Um, it's great to see a lot of people reaching out to help us, um, do the raffles. We got plenty of people, um, offering to send supplies and, and whatnot, um, to keep the raffle market going. And, um, so we'll see that. We got to, um, 
I got the parts ordered from Chip and Lisa to finish out the braided hose packages. So those, those hopefully I get all that done um, soon. Because I wanted it to be done for um, Pete and George to take it to the Diversified Scholar Show. But I got behind and, and some other things came up. So I missed that opportunity. Um, but you guys have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me right here. If you guys are still in the mood to watch some live videos or whatnot, um, head over to the International Scale Modeler. There are um, started... Um, their Friday live show. They're going to be a raffle tonight. They also have some giveaways um, and whatnot. Um, so you guys can check them out as um, soon as we're done here. I um, appreciate all you guys. Um, since there's about 14, 15 guys in here, um, did you guys enjoy the full series? I mean, I know we're at stage 25 here, but it is complete. Um, was that something you guys enjoyed, or would you rather me just have... Um, Days where I just sit down at the bench and just do whatever and, you know, not really make a series out of it. You know, because the next build we do, um, I could keep doing a series of it if you guys would like. What am I going to build next? Well, the next thing we're going to do... And this next build is for um, George Ramos from Vision 124. Um, I've been working on it. I, I work on it a little bit. And then, you know, for whatever reason, I go off to something else. Um, the reason... The reason why I want to do a build series is because our good friend Tom Ridger... Um, Ridger Tour, I don't know how to say his name, but Tom over at the Scale Modeling Channel, he always does a series of build videos. Um, Hunter um, over at Showtime Studios, he's he's always doing a little bit of a, a series video. Yeah, well, I, I can spell it, buddy, but I can't say it. <laughs> and um, so I need to get back onto this. Um, basically, basically all this needs. Is the body done and the interior done? I uh, got the motor set up, um, you know, just final details. But it was like I would even George has been working on his. Um, George and I started these around the same time. Um, Hunter's done got his built. Chips and done got his built. Um, John, I think John's done rebuilt Pete's. Um, he did a rebuilder for Pete. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a little, <laughs> it's gonna be a little restricted on that one, ain't it, Pete? <laughs> yeah, um, thanks, Preston. Um, well, what I was thinking, you know, some some people they always ask, um, hey, Minnie, did you ever finish um, the purple convertible Mustang? You know, and then you know I can pull it out, but it'd be better. To me, I'm thinking, I always want to do build series, and that way you guys could also see, it's like, okay, if that Hasegawa kit didn't come with an engine and an engine bay, I want to see how many got that engine and engine bay in there. So you guys can have a a, a step to go back to, um, you know, what I, you, I guess that that's what I'm trying to say, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know what color this one will be um, just off yet. Um, George is going for more of a like a, a street look, like a Ken Diggit, um, Chip Fu style look where it's really nice, clean, um, performance look. Um, for this one here, I don't know um, exactly right off. I want to keep it classic looking, but still mean looking, so I just get no right off hand. Um, I was going to go the same yellow that I put on the wagon I built for Vision 124, uh, the Plymouth two-door wagon that you guys see me do um, for the NNL this year. Um, and that's why the shocks are yellow. A John Deere green. Later, Bill. I don't know. That John Deere green's too plain. 
Now four did have a pretty nice looking like olive like an olive green um, back in the day a little darker than this it was a little darker than this this right here is like a lime green and I've never sprayed the Vallejo stuff yet um, I've just used it to hand brush stuff um, but it does it's already got um, a CVG resin um, which resin is this? It's got the CVG resin um, 932 um, Ram Air Big Block in it. It's got um, it's got a Sheldon um, Rothwell um, over there at Outlaw Speed Shop. Um, it's got one of his Optima batteries in it. Um, the hood is already hinged. Um, it's already wired. Oh, yeah, that's part of the exhaust, part of the drive shafts, just some other stuff I was working on. Um, the radiator is already built. I built a big three-core radiator. Um, the braided hose is already on it with the A&N fittings. Um, so, it's got a lot already. I just... I kept getting sidetracked. I wasn't feeling it. It's like I got in a... Not a builder's block, but just a slump. Between working on this, working on the wagon, I started working on that Mustang wagon, the 2015 Mustang wagon, and it just seemed like a lot of stuff started piling up on me. Um, then I built the fair lane, the weathered fair lane, and this just kept getting pushed back and back. And then I was really jonesing to build um, this C C1 kit, and when Scaled World... Um, sent me this um, I opened up the box he says hey I'm gonna send you something I opened up the box and it was the C1 build and boom I, I went after it um, now that this is done um, I, I kinda got an open mindset now and I think I know which way I wanna go um, with the pickup truck so I think it's time to focus on that get that done out of the way and um I'm really undecided on what to do after the Ford truck. I don't know if we should start the C-169 Mustang um, for the raffle, or should we start the community um, Nissan R32 wagon um, build. Because if you guys don't remember that... Um, Scale World and I are going to... world and I along we want to build this and let you guys um, let me see thanks Brian we want to build this right here and when we build this instead of it being like a live build guys we're gonna let you guys pick um, interior colors we're gonna let you guys pick like a set of wheels and whatnot and what it is, it comes with this. We got a trans kit. Is my guy? Um, there'll be a trans kit of this Nissan um, Skyline. It's a resin wagon, and it's from the Ukrainian scale cars production, a USCP product. Right here. There it goes. And um, we were going to let you guys in the community help us build this one. Um, we'll lay out a few set of different wheels. Um, we'll let you guys pick a color. Um, you know, there's going to be questions come up. Do we do a roof rack? Do we not do a roof rack? Um, is it going to be, you know, cambered, not cambered? But we'll handle all that um, when the time comes. Um, this product can be bought off of eBay. Um, he's got several different wagons. Um, he's got several different resin trans kits um, that you guys can get. Uh, not on this one, John. Um, this right here will be a community build, but they but um, they have been some guys making these. Yes, they have a web store as well. Thanks, Pete. And you guys, it's just right here. It's the Ukrainian Scale Cars production, U.S. CP. 
And then, so I don't know if we'll do the 69 Mustang first. And, um, or if we'll do this one first. But either way, this one right here will be a community build. And then the Mustang, the Mustang combo right here. Um, that will be um, a build that we get to do for you guys. Um, this build here will be raffled off. Um, I purchased the kit. Um, Chris from C1 Models um, donated um, the body kit up here. Um, so this right here will be raffled off. Hold on, guys. Hello? Yeah, and I got to go to school and get Mason. Um, just having some issues again, and they don't feel like he'll be able to make it on the bus. So I'm going to go get the kids and then go get Mason. No. I'll find all that out when I get there. All right, bye. And um, this is... So, that's right here will be a build to come. So, please stay tuned. Um, not just to Mr. Mini Dreams, but to ScaledWorld.net. Um, and, you know, there's plenty of things coming. Lots of C1 builds still coming. Um, what do we got, Pete? We got the Volkswagen Caddy. We got the Honda Civic. We got the Mustang now. Um, and then we got the Challenger C1 project. And then Pete has done the, yeah, I got the Challenger, Challenger, yeah. And then Pete's done the 69. Um, we're trying to get all the C1 products um, built and um, publicized um, to help Chris out with C1 models. And, um, you know, we're posting up our reviews and our builds there at scaledworld.net. And, you know, um, keep the small community um, close and growing. And, um, I thank you guys for your time. I know I probably already said that a few times, but, um, duty calls. Yeah, that Porsche, that Porsche trans kit from C1 is super sick. Um, the 09, the 09, uh, Kirby. It's got, uh, we, what did we get for that one, Pete? We got, um, clearly scale motor, clear, clearly scale hood. Um, a clearly scale front and rear bumper additives, um, the chassis plate, um, hobby design, um, photo X set for it, um, wheels from Buckeye, um, scale model parts, um, that Michael Newport over there from Facebook, um, and then we got the C1, um, fat body kit for it, so there's plenty going into that build, it's a lot going in that build, yeah, the wide fenders, yeah. Um, well, I appreciate you guys following me, um, following scaledworld.net. Um, please, if you guys find a need, um, to build some resin, um, don't hesitate to stop by C1 Models and check out what they have. Um, I appreciate you guys for all your time, and this is Minnie, and we are out of here. Um, until the next build, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, it's finally done. Um, I know people were teasing me that this probably wouldn't be done until 2019. Um, but I beat it by a few months, didn't I? <laughs> you guys have a great day. Have a great weekend. Um, enjoy your hobby and love your families. Peace.